Elements Homebrew coming at you with a beer review. It is halftime in the National College Football Playoff with the Oregon Ducks and the Ohio Buckeyes. And I hate to say it, but right now the Buckeyes are up. It is 21 to 10. It's not pretty right now for the Ducks. And they've been effectively shutting down Mariota uh, at, right after the first touchdown. The first touchdown, they were exemplary. But, uh, well, we're still holding out for the Ducks. So what have we got today? Our halftime beer review is brought to us by Paul at PA Brew News. Here it is. Paul sent me the White Monkey from Victory Brewing Company out of Downington, Pennsylvania. This is an Abbey Triple. It is 9.5% ABV. A good way to uh, start the second half, I'd say. And <laughs> this is aged in American oak Chardonnay barrels. So it's from the Chadsford Winery. So we'll be checking this out. It's kind of interesting. They don't say much about the recipe other than it's imported two row and whole flower European hops. That's all the more they give you. Also maybe with some coriander seed. They did mention that. So we're gonna get this one popped open. All right, here we go. This is the pour. Wow, take a look at that. So that's that's interesting. It's kind of pretty much mostly gold, maybe a little bit of orange in there. And uh, I poured fairly aggressively, so that's a pretty thin white head on there. It's time to get a nose on it. <sighs> wow, immediately huge Chardonnay oak. Um, uh, I mean, big Chardonnay oak. Oh, yeah, it's just a beautiful lusciousness of like Chardonnay grape and vanilla oak character on there. A hint of spiciness maybe. Just a touch of the background on there. Maybe a little bit of fruit like some pear from the hops. Eh, there was a tinge of maybe almost a splash of orange but eh, that's kind of deceiving. Yeah, there's some other kind of fruit, more like pear, but you know, slight earthiness, but mostly it's just this big old oaky vanilla Chardonnay type aroma. So cheers, let's give it a try. For the most part, the taste follows the nose. There are some other variants in there. It's well carbonated, which follows more of that triple type style. You would expect that carbonation, but the flavors, man, it's not like a Belgian, really. I mean, the tannins from the oak are very present. The vanilla from the oak is extremely pleasant and present. Very buttery, like a buttery type of Chardonnay. You really only get a little bit of the taste of that backbone because those vanilla and buttery notes and oak tannins really dominate the whole thing. You get a little bit of fruit in there lightly, you get a little bit of uh, spice from the yeast, but not a lot more. I'm gonna take a little time with this and we're gonna see. Yeah, this is a really interesting beer. Um, hard, to, hard to make much more of it than I did. I'm picking up as it warms a bit more of the apple, a little bit of pear, a slight bit of honey on there. Um, so those fruity aspects are coming out more as it warms up. Very creamy. It, the head builds back with a swirl, which is interesting. Actually built back quite a bit more earlier. And just let, left some little bit of lacing that kind of dissipates. Um, but still very much dark, dominated by this Chardonnay and butter characters. Very vinous, white wine vinous. Really the, the, the malt on there is second hand kind of thing. It's, it plays in the backfield very much so. You really don't get a lot of that. It's just this whole vineyard. Just, there's a little bit of characteristic that makes you pucker a bit. Not really what I think of with a Belgian style beer. It almost lends itself more to a Saison kind of a style. So very unique. It's fun and I like, I like unique things. But um, wow, there's just a lot in terms of this, this puckering in the mouth and drying out on the body, it is a medium body. So how do we rate this? As an Abbey Triple, I mean, the body 
is pretty close and the carbonation level is very much like an Abbey Triple. Um, but it, it's not like that nice sweetness and light flavor on the tongue that you normally get in an Abbey Triple. It's, it's very different. Uh, so for an Abbey Triple, I couldn't really rate it very high at all. I mean, in those terms, um, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's unique, but I, I got to drive it down uh, to about a oh an 81 as far as Abbey Triples go. Overall, it's a little different. Um, has some really nice qualities going on. That Chardonnay and thing is nice. If you like Chardonnay, if you like uh, butteriness and white oak, then this would be extremely appealing to you. Um, I think for overall with this one. Uh, I'm going to put it kind of in that B plus range. I think I'll give it an 87. It's it's a fun beer for sure. I, I'm enjoying it. Um, but I wouldn't necessarily seek this out. It's not going to be my favorite style per se. It's But it's definitely an interesting beer. So here it is. Again, it's the White Monkey from Victory Brewing Company. And uh, what can I say but come on dogs, pull through baby!